The Bulldogs started off the week with a double header, and the women's team played first against WAC opponent Hawaii, who was 0-5 in conference play. The Dogs took the lead early in the half with quick shots from Rosie Malt and Haley Monroe. Julissa Ross was 21 points behind the all-time leading scoring record, but with the absence of Taylor Thompson, Ross had to take over as point guard. She is now nine points away. I'm surprised you can get the, the same type of shot opportunities that she normally gets, which can kind of mess with your rhythm. But as the game went on, she was getting better and better with that. The Dogs had great ball movement and open shots, giving them a 10-point lead. But the Rainbows wouldn't go away when they went on a 10-2 run and brought them within one point. After Hawaii's run, the Dogs struggled to put the ball in the basket, but left the half, leaving 37-32. Jaleesa Ross came out of the break with a bang, firing back-to-back -back threes, and the dogs will never look back, finishing with a 22-point lead. In the game after, the boys were fired up and ready to play as they took the floor against Seattle University. The men's team played quick defense along with defensive rebounds, enabling fast break plays for easy points. Tyler Johnson was a key player in the game and contributed 10 assists on the floor, giving many open looks for Kevin Olikibe and Nick Golubovich. The, the, the biggest number is 27 assists. And uh, that, that kind of unselfishness will carry over and, and, and gives us a, a better outlook and a better feel as we prepare for two really tough games on the road this week at Nevada and at San Jose State. I feel like uh, our guys are in the floor really well. And I, I mean, they made my job easy. Just kind of flip it up to them. The Dogs were able to control the game and force the Red Hawks to take bad shots and gain a 30-point lead throughout the second half and smooth sailing to seal the game with an 86-56 win. Another doubleheader, another pair of wins for the Dogs. The next game will be February 3rd when the men's team hosts New Mexico State. For the Collegian Online, I'm Siobhan Furrow.